Hey, this is Stacy from Let's Cook Y'all. Welcome back to our channel. We are back with a new What's For Dinner video for you guys this week. We've got some home cooked meals. I also ate out one breakfast and two lunches this week and I'll show you guys those. I only mention that because it affects me cooking at night when I eat really big meals out at a restaurant or an event early in the day. I don't tend to want to cook a really big meal at night, but we've got some new meals and ideas for you this week. I hope you enjoy the video. We start out this week with one of Tim's favorite meals. He requested some homemade sloppy joes, so I'm always happy to cook something that he loves. I took a pound of ground turkey out of the freezer and thawed it out, sauteed it up in the skillet with some onions. You could also add bell peppers if you have them and like them. We have shared our sloppy joe video before. It's in a compilation video called Four Easy Meals, and I will leave a link to that both in an iCard above and in the description box below. Rather than the traditional way I make sloppy joes, I deviated a little bit and made what I tend to call cheesy turkey joes. I left out the vinegar and the barbecue sauce from my regular recipe and added a couple of other ingredients and more mustard and brown sugar to make it a little sweeter and then I finish it off with a lot of cheese. We both love it this way and we thoroughly enjoyed these sloppy joes. So I made some cheesy joes and we're just having them on toasted buns with mayonnaise and pickles. Tim's got some celery and blue cheese that he's very excited about and I've got some hummus crisps and some yogurt on my with my sloppy joe sandwich so sloppy joes at tim's request is what's for dinner tonight <laughs> after a hiatus over the holidays my breakfast cooking better half is back on his game he's made us mushroom cheese omelets and bacon he's got grits we both got toast and i've got some fruit and some juice and that is what's for dinner tonight Didn't like my knife, so he got the big boy knife out. Tim has better knife skills than I do, so he was very sweet and offered to help me out. He cut some flank steak that we had put in the freezer for about 30 minutes against the grain into some very thin strips. If you can't tell by now, this is a recipe for beef and broccoli. It's actually a new recipe that we tried this week. I will leave a link to the website that we got it from. It's called Natasha's Kitchen. This is the first recipe I have tried from this website, but it works really well, so I'm looking forward to trying some more from her. It was very easy to follow. You basically mixed up the sauce, which was soy sauce and some seasonings and cornstarch which will thicken Alexis up under heat. We cooked the broccoli in my big wok and took it out when it was crisp tender. Then I cooked the thinly sliced pieces of flank steak in a couple of batches and made sure they were good and cooked crispy through. And then we added the sauce. Add the broccoli back in and then when you're ready to serve it, you top it with sesame seeds. I have these toasted sesame seeds that I like and use on a lot of things, and so that's what I used. So I tried a new recipe for beef and broccoli. We're gonna give this one a try. I'll leave a comment whether or not we liked it and a link to the recipe. Just some edamame on the side. I was gonna do some egg rolls, but Tim has more discipline than me. He said no egg rolls for me. So beef and broccoli over rice and edamame is what's for dinner tonight. 
Tim had leftovers and I had a big meal out earlier in the day, so I took this chance to make one of my favorites, which is avocado toast with a fried egg on top, and I had some grapefruit and yogurt on the side. It was yummy. This is another new or semi-new recipe. I think I've made one uh, similar to this or maybe this exact one and I just don't remember. This is a tahini dressing that I'm mixing up using oil and water and tahini and lemon juice. I didn't have fresh lemons so I just used the bottle and some seasonings. I tasted it, it wasn't quite thick enough so I added a little maple syrup. While Tim has some leftovers that he enjoys, I'm going to fix something that I like, which is basically a grain bowl. I'll leave a link to the recipe that I sort of used from eating well. I have made one like this in the past and used green beans, and I had those on hand. The actual recipe I follow today called for sweet potato, and I may do that tomorrow. I will probably do it in the air fryer, but I had some green beans that needed cooking, so I steamed them in the microwave and then finished them off in my little wok. I had cooked the chickpeas earlier in the day and rather than doing couscous or plain quinoa I've got several of these quinoa and brown rice seeds of change packets from Sam's so I just put that all together with some avocado and the tahini dressing that I mixed up and that is my grain bowl for dinner tonight I gave Tim a whole bunch of choices for dinner tonight and he picked Pizza. We have four frozen pizzas in the freezer thanks to some sales recently at Kroger. We, we've got a couple of DiGiorno's that are three and four meats. We've got a four cheese from California Pizza Kitchen and Tim, which one do you want? Uh, let's just go with the barbecue. Barbecue chicken. So we're going to have pizza and a salad. Can we have them all? No, we cannot have four pizzas in one night. There's only two of us. Silly boy. California Pizza Kitchen barbecue chicken. So frozen pizza and a salad is what's for dinner tonight. I had a busy week of eating out this week. First up, I went with some ladies from my Sunday school to volunteer. Afterwards, we went to lunch. I had spaghetti and meatballs. The lady next to me had shrimp Caesar salad, red beans and rice, and a grilled chicken salad. Everyone said that their meal was delicious, mine included. Those were some amazing spaghetti and meatballs. Next up is a lunch out with, our, with all the ladies from our new Sunday school group. We went to Longhorn. I had a Caesar salad and some shrimp chowder. We had a really good group this week. I think everybody enjoyed their food. We had a little trouble getting a big table, but the food was good and the fellowship was even better. Also this week, my Bible study started back. There's Debbie, my sweet friend. She's so cute. And our group brought food. We always have a really good spread. I brought a breakfast casserole and a cake that I got at Sam's. And we had so much food that I really didn't eat, need to eat the rest of the day. That's going to wrap up this week's video. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a wonderful and truly blessed day, y'all.